Next up, species extinction and habitat loss. How can you design things to improve this situation? This is Threats to Biodiversity by Habitat according to the Millennium Ecosystem Assessment, and the different columns are the kinds of threats in order their habitat change, climate change, invasive species, overexploitation, and pollution, and it notes that they're mostly from nitrogen and phosphorus. And then the different horizontal rows are different kinds of habitats. And it'll be too small for you to read here, that's not really important. The point is, uh, the red boxes are the highest impact, uh, the orange boxes are second highest, and so on down the line, and it's easy to see that habitat change is causing the biggest impacts on the most biomes. And uh, habitat change is basically where wild lands are converted to agriculture. Some of it is due to sprawl or roads, but really the vast majority of it is agriculture encroaching on wild lands. Uh, then the next one is pollution, and uh, it does note that they're mostly from nitrogen and phosphorus, so that's mostly from agriculture as well. Uh, next up is overexploitation, that's the second to the last column, and then invasive species is the one to the left, and the, the least impactful so far is climate change, though as the arrows show you, it's increasing rapidly in how much of an impact it's having. So those are the biggest threats. So what does that mean in terms of your priorities? So your top priorities to fix species extinction and habitat loss are these. Basically, it's mostly about food. Um, designing better food products and better food systems is key. And most people think that that just means organic food. Uh, and that is important because, as we saw, fertilizers and pesticides were sort of the number two impact. But the number one impact is actually encroachment of agricultural lands on wild lands. And so that means that your number one priority is actually land efficient food. So getting the most yield per acre. Um, and then organic food. And then after that, local native food helps to avoid invasive species. So what are people doing to design for this? Well, on the top right, we have hydroponics. That's the most land efficient form of agriculture ever invented. Uh, you can farm all year round and you get very high yields per acre. You can also do it organically as well, and it can be extremely water efficient. You can recycle um, all of your water. And you can even combine it with fish farming to avoid overfishing, which helps with the overexploitation column that we saw before. On the left, some people have theorized that you can make skyscrapers of hydroponics that they call vertical farms. Or in the bottom left, there's a more low-tech approach, which is just urban agriculture in backyards and on rooftops. According to the UNDP, urban agriculture could reduce land use of agriculture by a third, even as population grows by two thirds. So that's potentially huge impact in reducing the amount of land required for agriculture. So what can you invent to help make that happen? 